Hey guys, it's Griffin, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial, and this is going to be about how to blend a PNG, like this present right here that I have, into a background. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my background that I want to use. Um, I'm just going to use the one that I used before. Copy image. New. Control V. Um... So now I have my background and I already have the PNG that I'm using saved. So I'm going to drag that into my background. And then I'm going to want to make it smaller just so it looks realistic. Like that, that's good. I'm going to put it right around here. Yeah, right there. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to make a couple adjustment layers to make the get uh, the present PNG blend with our background better. So I'm going to go to levels and then this button right here I'm going to click that to make a clipping mask so it only affects the GIF PNG. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker since it's in kind of a, uh, in a darker background. It's kind of in a shadow as you guys can see. Like that. And I also like to do some exposure to make a clipping mask. Um, Gonna turn down the exposure a little bit. Uh, just mess around with the settings to see what you think looks best for your background. Okay, that looks nice. So I think that makes it look a lot better with the background. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some shadowing, which is pretty much the only other part. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Make sure your color is on black because we don't want like a red shadow or anything. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our brush tool. Make sure you have the like regular circle, circular brush selected. And oh, here's another quick tip. If you hold alt and then right click and then drag, you can adjust your brush settings. So make sure your hardness is on zero by dragging up all the way. And you're gonna wanna drag to the left to make it pretty small like that. Uh, a little bigger actually, like that. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag around your present, or your, sorry, your PNG. So I'm gonna do it just like that. Just right around it, that looks good. So I'm gonna, now after I've done that, I'm gonna put the blending mode to soft light. So it kinda overlays with our PNG and our background. And just put it so it overlaps with your PNG a little bit. Also, it depends on what uh, background you're doing. Maybe it won't even be... Um... Also, it depends what background and PNG you're doing. Like, maybe your PNG won't even be like against the ground, so you won't even need to do this. But, uh, yeah, make sure it's on soft light. I'm going to blur it a little bit, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Like, five. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna duplicate it and put it to like 50%. Actually, no, I'm not gonna duplicate it. That's just too harsh. Uh, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go to Edit, Transform, Warp, and then I'm gonna try to make it wrap around the present a little bit more so you can kind of see the shadowing in the back too. Just like that. That too. All right, that's better. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of blending. Oh, oh, I forgot one more thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my eraser tool and same thing, you can do the alt right click method to adjust your settings. I'm, make it really, really small like that. Like pretty much the same size as the brush we were using. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is since I wanna make the present look like it's kind of in the snow a little bit, like underneath the snow, I'm gonna go to the bottom and kind of erase part of the bottom a little bit. Just gonna go around just like that. Alright, that looks nicer. Now it kind of blends. It kind of looks like it's inside the snow a little bit. So yeah. That was, uh, this was a pretty quick tutorial. 
kind of just a quick one to show you guys how to blend a PNG with the background. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and comment and also please let me know what tutorials you guys would like to see because I'm kind of running out of ideas believe it or not. So yeah, let me know and also subscribe for more videos and I'm out. Peace.